Hi friends, welcome to oil and gas training. Uh, to get a better view of uh, oil and gas operation overview section 2, here this video giving in some more uh, better understanding of uh, uh, degassing uh, plant uh, separation, desalting and uh, storage tank uh, export and metering. Welcome to this video. Oil production degassing plants. Degassing means removing the gas from the crude oil. This is the first step of the many steps that are needed to process the crude oil into the things that we want. The degassing of the crude oil takes place in separators in the oil field. Just to closely watch to the picture providing here, it is a two-phase separator. Uh, the feed is entering oil and gas crude oil mixture. Various uh, internal devices are there to provide better separation that we will discuss in uh, future classes. The separation takes place gas and liquid because of the pressure reduction and the density difference. The gas will leave to the top of the uh, separator from the one side and the liquid is settling down. So this is a typical example of a two-phase separator. Some separators are three-phase separators are there. In that one, uh, gas, oil and water can separate. Desalting is the process of remove salt from crude oil. Preheated crude oil and fresh water mixing in specially designed separating vessel and then using the electrostatic field to break the emulsion, emulsions, oil and salt water. Salt components dilute with fresh water and desalted oil leaves from the top of the vessel and the salty water leaves from bottom of the vessel. This picture is providing a clear understanding of a desalter. One side it is crude oil is injecting through crude oil pump, it is a feeding pump, preheater is there coming to the mixing valve, the other side is wash water that is a fresh water, very little or no salt. That is also preheating and the heating is providing for uh, thermal support to breaking the emulsion much better. So mixing valve is uh, properly mixing the crude oil and the wash water that is a fresh water. Then it is entering to the a horizontal type uh, separator that is uh, desalter vessel. In that one we are providing high voltage electricity to create a electrostatic field. So it break the emulsion and the desalted oil is separated from the top and the salt water is uh, uh, deposited in the bottom of the or uh, releasing from the bottom of the separator. Storage, shipping and metering. Once uh, crude oil is uh, gas free, water free and salt free, it will send to storage tank. Storage tanks are using for intermediate storage of crude oil. Storage tank also removes some quantities of water and light vapors if they exist in treated crude oil. We will discuss the storage tank uh, safety features and various uh, components inside it and uh, a special type of a storage tank in detail in our coming classes. So this is the simple picture of the storage tank. Export and shipping pumps. Export or shipping pumps used to transfer the treated crude that is uh, gas free, water free and salt free crude oil to another location or another country or another company for loading ship gas engine, gas driven turbines, 
and electrical motors are used drivers for this heavy duty pumps metering facility wherever we are selling crude oil to another country or another company or refinery wherever so we have to do a proper metering facility to check how much quantity to confirm how much quantity uh, transferred for billing purpose so metering facility metering is the process of physical measurement of quantity of crude oil transfer to another company or ship or transfer to pipeline etc various flow metering devices installed to measure accurate quantity of transfer each time the accuracy of flow meters also calibrated and rechecked meter provers gas processing the natural gas that was produced with the crude oil is called associated gas major gas processes are to remove h2s from natural gas called sweetening and remove moisture called dehydration the gas is then compressed by large compressors and sent through pipelines to the gas processing plant at the gas processing plants the components that make up natural gas are separated by distillation in the earlier uh, section 2 slide uh, in the section 2 videos we have explained this one properly using the uh, process flow diagram so gas conditioning gas conditioning separate methane ethane and other components for further uses pure separated methane compress for gas injection power plant uses and convert to liquid by lng process separated higher hydrocarbon components may blend with the crude oil or make lpg or feed it to petrochemical derivatives refining of crude oil this is another major Uh, industrial area or to understand uh, in detail about uh, the treated crude oil or uh, gas free water free salt free crude oil is uh, pumping to refinery for uh, developing or manufacturing uh, value added product like diesel uh, jet fuel gasoline that is petrol kerosene naphtha lpg so many many products are there uh, we are going to Uh, study or understand see or this in detail in our coming classes the basic job of a refinery is to change crude oil into useful products the crude oil must pass us through a series of process one other one after the other this process change the crude oil into finished product used in home and industry the first and the most important process is fractional distillation this picture gives you basic refinery process uh, in detail that is the the tower which is called is a fractional distillation tower or crude distillation tower uh, the feed is uh, crude oil is heated at to uh, say around 500 degree or approximately or according to the requirement or design of the distillation column see the Uh, blue line starting from the top gas and bottom is solid that is the boiling point and the viscosity increases when it is in the top it is a boiling point is highly volatile and less uh, uh, viscous and uh, from the solid side it is a high boiling point and uh, high viscous uh, condition so Uh, and the carbon content is increasing from top to bottom the gas side carbon content is uh, is uh, c1 c2 was a, a number of carbon is less and in the solid side is number of carbon is uh, more so when the carbon is increasing uh, boiling point increase and viscosity increase so based on the fractionating tower we are getting the top uh, refinery gases that is lpg or naphtha or whatever it is and 30 degree we can get the uh, gasoline remember this is approximate uh, pictorial purpose and study purpose the actual values may vary 110 we can get naphtha uh, 180 degree we can get kerosene and paraffin 
and 260 degree we can get a diesel and uh, under that one it is uh, around uh, 300 degree we can get fuel oil or shipping oil for using the ships another one is a lubricating oil and uh, around 400 degree in the bottom we can get a residue that is called uh, gar we can use or uh, 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 this is uh, the uh, uh, pictorial rep representation of uh, uh, crude distillation column this all we will study in detail so this is the overview of a uh, crude oil and gas processing system and the uh, and the, in refinery what is happening in uh, representing in a simple way